on October 7, Hamas, a terrorist organization, slaughtered 1,200 Israelis, many of them young people who were simply attending a concert. Women were horribly raped. And so absolutely, I said then, I say now, Israel has a right to defend itself. We would. And how it does so matters. Because it is also true, far too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. Children, mothers. What we know is that this war must end. It must when end immediately, and the way it will end is we need a ceasefire deal and we need the hostages out. And so we will continue to work around the clock on that. Work around the clock also understanding that we must chart a course for a two-state solution. And in that solution, there must be security for the Israeli people and Israel and an equal measure for the Palestinians. But the one thing I will assure you always, I will always give Israel the ability to defend itself, in particular as it relates to, as it relates to Iran and any threat that Iran and its proxies pose to Israel. But we must have a two-state solution where we can rebuild Gaza, where the Palestinians have security, self-determination, and the dignity they so rightly deserve. Uh, President Trump, how would you negotiate with Netanyahu and also Hamas in order to get the hostages out and prevent the killing of more innocent civilians in Gaza? If I were president, it would have never started. If I were president, Russia would have never ever i know putin very well he would have never and there was no threat of it either by the way for four years have gone into ukraine and killed millions of people when you add it up far worse than people understand what's going on over there but when she mentions about israel all of a sudden she hates israel she wouldn't even meet with netanyahu when he went to congress to make a very important speech she refused to be there because she was at a sorority party of hers she wanted to go to the sorority party she hates Israel. If she's president, I believe that Israel will not exist within two years from now. And I've been pretty good at predictions, and I hope I'm wrong about that one. She hates Israel. At the same time, in her own way, she hates the Arab population because the whole place is going to get blown up. Arabs, Jewish people, Israel. Israel will be gone. It would have never happened. Iran was broke under Donald Trump. Now Iran has $300 billion because they took off all the sanctions that I had. Iran had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah or any of the 28 different uh, spheres of terror. And they are spheres of terror. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Monday called for swift action on pledges made at a meeting with allied military leaders at Ramstein Air Base in Germany last week. Following a report on the meeting's outcomes by Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Yumarov, Zelensky stressed the urgency of Allied assistance to help cut Russia's combat capabilities. What is needed in September must be delivered to our troops in September, Zelensky said in his nightly video address. Zelensky appeared in person at the meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, telling partners that Ukraine needs the ability to strike deep within Russia now. The group gathers regularly to coordinate weapons aid for the war effort. After thanking troops for steadfastly repelling Russian assaults and reclaiming our positions, Zelensky said that equally important is destroying as many of the occupiers' forces as possible. In the Pokrovsk and Kurikov directions, the Russian army must lose as much combat capability as possible, he added. Russia has intensified missile and drone attacks on Ukrainian cities in recent weeks, targeting energy infrastructure across the country and causing deadly strikes in residential areas. Сьогодні була доповідь міністра оборони України Умірова за результатами Рамштайну та його перемовин з партнером. Всі досягнуті домовленості мають бути реалізовані максимально швидко. Те, що потрібно у вересні, має бути поставлено у наші війська саме у вересні. Дякую всім нашим підрозділам на фронті, які забезпечують повне виконання завдань та дійсно стійко відбивають російські штурми і відновлюють наші позиції. І це важливо. Так само важливо знищувати якомога більше сил окупанта. 
Покровський напрямок, Курахівський, саме там російська армія повинна втратити якнайбільше боєздатності.